Hey guys, Tyler here, and we're gonna go over setting up your new SC125 line winding machine. So out the box, you're gonna notice you have a foot pedal, a power cord. We're not gonna plug this in until we are ready to start spooling reels. You're gonna notice that the bar attachment for your conventional reels is upside down. I'm gonna go ahead and flip that over and set it right back down. That way the clamps are facing upwards. We're gonna go ahead and grab our bolt line attachment we're gonna undo the screw nut here and the clamp. We're gonna set this down, put the clamp back on, and we don't have to go all the way tight with this um, because this is gonna move for different spooling applications. We're gonna take out the set screw and add the line counter. And other than plugging it in, we're ready to get spooling. We've got the line winder set up, we've got it plugged in, we've got the foot pedal on the floor. We're gonna keep the switch in the off position in both the forward and reverse and the power switch. We're gonna start off by spooling a conventional reel. We're gonna take the T-bar and we're gonna insert it into the drive shaft. Next, we're gonna take our conventional reel and we're gonna place it on the bar and move the reel clamps into position. We're then gonna tighten the nut on the bottom it's very important not to over tighten the reel seat clamps. So once we're snug, we're gonna make sure that the handle nut lines up with the T-bar in the center. So we've got our conventional reel set up on the machine and it's lined up with the T-handle and the nut on the reel itself. We're gonna go ahead and take the stop nut off the bulk spool holder and we're gonna add a bulk spool to it. We're gonna add this back on and make sure everything is nice and tight and the spool is supported by both ends of the cones. So before we start spooling, we're gonna to wanna to move our bulk line holder so that the center of the spool is in line with the line guide on the machine. Once it's in position, you're gonna to wanna to tighten it down so nothing moves while you're spooling the reel. We're gonna take the line and tie it on the spool. Once the line is tied onto the spool, we're gonna go ahead, cut off the excess, and run it through the line guide. So now that we're ready to spool this reel, we're gonna go ahead and flip the machine to on. For all right-hand conventional reels, you're gonna to wanna to place the machine in forward. There's a speed knob at the top of the machine. We're gonna go ahead and set this about halfway for the conventional, not much more. So now that we're getting ready to spool, we're gonna go ahead and press the button to reset the counter to zero. So to spool the reel, we're gonna step on the pedal lightly and we're gonna apply slight pressure with our hand. Using a glove is recommended, but for the certain instance of putting monofilament on this reel, we're gonna just do it barehanded. We're gonna step on the pedal lightly and once it gets to the desired speed, we can stay there or adjust it on the machine itself. As we're spooling, I'm gonna be taking the line guide and moving it back and forth at an even and steady pace to make sure the line is on there properly. So the reason the line's coming off the top of the spool is you wanna match the direction that the spool of the reel is turning in order to prevent twists in your monofilament or braid. So we just finished spooling our conventional reel on our new Triangle Sport SC125 line winder. If you've got any further questions, contact Bob at linewinders at trianglesport.com or call 201-699-4228. Congratulations on the purchase of your SC125 and remember, happy fishing and tight lines.